welcome to my Vic off-road San Hema rooftop tent. Um, today, I've already showed you 50 million times how I set this thing up. So I've already got videos of how I set this tent up, so you don't have to watch that again. Um, but I do just want to show you some key features and a bit of a review and show you me and the young fella having a night in there. Um, but anyway, let me just set it up for you. Boom! Tent is set up. Look how freaking quick that was, mate. In the click of a finger, it's done. Now I'll give you a... Uh, it's magic. All right, I'm going to give you a look at a couple of little things. All right, check out this hard shell, yeah? Hard as. Now that we've um, smashed across the gib, it's definitely taken stone chips and hasn't broken or anything, no cracks. Um, so far, so good. Now when we did the gib, right, this here, this is the dust from the gib. It's only on the little side bits, exactly where that seal sits over. So that seal has been pretty bloody good. So it's got that section out there. Then it's got a really thick th uh, part in here that seals up pretty closely to that metal. Um, now I'm on the outside. This is the fire screen. And if you can see the zippers, it's all done from the inside. And it's all, you know, sealed. It doesn't let any of the uh, the bugs get inside. And you you don't, can't do anything from outside. So that's the floor from outside. It's that honeycomb panel. Um, quite thick and strong. I'll show you it from the inside as well. Here's the um, telescopic ladder. Um, all these little red buttons all make the ladder go up. So once you press the bottom ones, um, it makes all the top ones. Blah 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 blah. I'll show you in a sec. Watch this. So you press the bottom ones, and they all clip together. And that's what's supporting all that section of the tent. Is your ladder, and it works bloody well because you jump up there, and we're strong as we're on the sand. So mind you that. But look, I'm sitting on a ladder hold up all good. This is your huge storage bag for your shoes and like water bottles and stuff. So there's a two on the outside. Then we've got, I think, two more on the inside. I'll show you now. So you've got this thick as completely waterproof material that they've used. Um, it is super waterproof and feels really durable. It's not like a crappy, uh, I don't know, like an old school crappy tent material. It's strong as proper canvas. Um, opening this up. So obviously when you... Um, set the tent up you pull this bottom section over um, but it uses these straps it doesn't put any um, tension on the actual tent itself so it uses these, these straps here is what that's one on both sides There's another one over here as well on the inside you've got these obviously these flaps that you pop up and you zip over the, uh, the windows to completely lock it out um, underneath there you've got pocket then you've got another pocket over this side underneath there um, just to put all your stuff in. Uh, mind you, when we slept in here, you can put stuff everywhere. Now, inside here, when I measured it up, it's basically a queen size mattress. So, I'm gonna get me, the wife, and the two kids in here and show you what it looks like with a family of four in this tent and show you if it, uh, what it actually feels like. It's gonna, I don't know, it's gonna be funny. It's hot too, we're in the middle of the day. It's hot. This is four people two adults two kids in the rooftop tent what do you all think no dogs do not bring your dog in here <laughs> yeah we got a dog too dog can't come in no way um all right that's all four of us in here rock and roll it is boiling hot in the middle of the day we're getting out of here this brace here make sure that it can't be folded up because it goes up here onto that brace and then back onto here it's got that um, strap that holds it in place but it holds that hard cover off you so yeah i can do that but no one like you can't close the tent onto me um, same with these on the struts, these little pieces here. These little pieces on the struts as well, right? So you take those off when, you, when you're not, uh, when you want to fold it up. But if you're in here, just to make sure that those struts are nice and strong, um, which they are, but uh, it just makes sure that it can't be closed on to you while you're in here. So um, I reckon it withstand the wind. Um, we've got the LED light. And I'll show you later. Me and Kate are not going to sleep in this, so you'll see a video of that, um, a part of this. But that is uh, just a little USB LED light that comes with it, just wraps around the top, and it works really well. It's in orange and um, and white light. Uh, what else can I tell you? This whole setup it only weighs 67 kilos, um, so that's really good for your weight. So I know some of the rooftop tents with the hard shell, uh, metal hard shells and stuff, they're, they're super heavy. Um, but 67 kilos is great. Um, it just means I don't have to worry about it too much um, with all the weights of our whole setup and, and everything. Um, the maximum weight this whole tent can take is 350 kilos. Uh, I don't think we're even close to that. Uh, but yeah, so we're, we're pretty happy. I don't I don't think we're ever going to use it, all four of us in here. 
Um, I think it is a little bit tight, but it is, um, it can, it can do that. Uh, you could definitely sleep a bunch of kids in here if you wanted to give the kids a sleep out or something like that. Um, but it is really comfortable for, for two adults. It's exactly like a queen size bed. You don't want four people in a queen size bed. It's just, you know, it's not gonna work. Um, it's not gonna be comfortable. If it's nice and if it's freezing in winter, definitely that's all good, but uh, definitely not, uh, it's all hot, mate. We're, we're up north and it is hot. Um, the rooftop tent comes with two years warranty, which is, you know, that's excellent. Um, but yeah, just wanted to show you, this is our, this is the mattress inside. That's underneath, that is the um, honeycomb flooring. You know, it's it's strong as, it's it's lightweight. Um, the mattress is really good, it's like uh, some anti-condensation mattress, so you make sure uh, don't get any mouldy crap in here. These, these items here, which I just keep under the mattress, they Velcro on over these windows. So if it's freezing cold, see the Velcro thing? If it's freezing cold and you really need to stop the wind, Mate, that is brilliant because it will completely stop any tiny little bit of breeze being able to get through. Um, I haven't experienced that yet because it is boiling hot all the time, forever. If you do want to check out Vic Off Road, jump in our description. There's a link in there. If you click that, anything you buy, we get a little bit of kickback, um, which is brilliant. You know, wheels by the ocean. We want to keep on the road. So any any tiny bit of money we can make uh, is is great. Um, but yeah, if you use that link and then WBTO gives you 10% off as well. Well, that's a bit of information about the rooftop tent and what it can do and all the uh, all the bits and pieces and all the gadgety bits. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Now you can uh, check out me and Caden sleeping in the tent um, and giving it a proper test run. What are we doing tonight? Going in the rooftop tent. Doing what to it? Sleeping in it. Oh, we're going to have a crack at the sleeping in the tent tonight. Me and Caden. Having a uh, mad dog time in there. Caden, you're going to set it up? Yeah? Yeah. Alright, sweet. Jump up on top of the wheel over here. Oh, you can jump up there, yep. You can see this. Yeah. Alright, what we're going to do, yeah, push that. Wait. Ah. There you go. Easy peasy. <laughs> we made it. There we go. Come check it out. Have a look, everybody. It's ready to roll. We're just going to throw the... Uh... No, let's have a sleepover together, Dad. Yeah, hell yeah, we will. Huh? We're just going to put in the mattress protector. We're having a sleepover party. Mm. Yeah, we're just going to put a mattress cover on and then we've um, throw our pillows in there and a blanket. Sleepover time. Yeah. You excited? Yeah. Yeah. Let's That's go. what I'm talking about. That's why we got this because we wanted to do some little sleepovers and stuff. It's going to be pimp, huh? Yeah. How wicked. Don't mind the messy bed sheets and stuff, but. That's going to be pretty cute. <laughs> Kanan, this is us for the night, bud. <laughs> boys night, yeah the boys, high five. Yeah the boys. Let's, let's get crazy. High five. Oh, oh, got me good there, boy. Lollies. Yeah, we got lollies, we got everything we need. Um, sun's beaming in still a little bit. We've um, probably got another half an hour until it to, till the sun sets. That'll be nice when the sun's gone because it's a tiny, tiny bit hot in here. Uh, we are in um, Darwin, so it's it's hot. It's like 30 degrees all the time in winter. That's the Nintendo. So me and Kaden have just been playing Nintendo. And I was just dribbling because of how much I laughed. We were laughing our heads off. Look straight above us, so we just unzip the um, zippity zippity thing, and then straight above us is these trees and stuff. But I reckon the stars are going to be pretty fabulous, mate, aren't they? Zippity dippity. <laughs> so me and Caden, we're in the pitch black dark. Well, we've got the skylight open. I don't know if you can see, but we're all looking out at all the stars and everything. It's pretty cool. Light switch here. Oh yeah, that does orange light. Look, we're in the orange. Hey, hey, big oh, dog. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, in the orange. Hey, everything's going pretty good in here, being pretty comfy, just watching some movies. Huh? And I... eating some lollies? Yeah. Oh. Very cool. I've um, set up a fan in here, because it's a little bit hot, and it's all running off the little King's um, battery, the jump starter, so I've got the light and the, and the fan running off that. Seems to be going all good. I'll let you know how that holds charge. Um, but yeah, we've got, uh, I don't know, good night ahead of us, huh, bud? Yeah. Good night, we'll see you in the morning. Good night. Baby? Baby, baby. 
<laughs> Good morning. I missed you. Miss you. Okay, how'd you go last night? You sleep alright? Yeah. Yeah, sleep good? Yeah. A little sleep over. <laughs> I'm coming down, Finny. <laughs> Finny has missed us. Alright, we're back in the caravan having some brekkie caves, aren't we? What'd you think, mate? Fun. Was it fun? Yeah, it was fun. We went stupid, didn't we? Mm-hmm. Alright, well that was our night in the rooftop tent. Now it's time to pack it down. Get with the old pack up. I gotta get our stuff back out of it though. Gotta, gotta get our bedding this time because we've got a little bit of bedding in here. So we'll grab that out. I'll tell you, I know it's a bit dark, but check out this um, mattress. This is some sort of anti-condensation mattress or something. But we've got no condensation in the tent whatsoever. Um, yeah, it was a warm night though, so I can't really say much about that, but it's, uh, I don't know, it was really, really good. Um, I was expecting a little bit of moisture, but no, nah, sweet as. Right, I'm just inside because I wanted to do a quick measurement of this actual mattress size. So we are, width, the mattress is 150 centimeters wide, 150 centimeters wide, and length, We'll get this length down. I'm just doing this measurement because I reckon it's pretty bloody big in here. And we are two, 210 centimeters long. So 150 wide, 210 long. Hey, that's pretty good. I'm gonna check out what the actual dimensions of a normal double size or whatever bed is and I'll do a comparison. Buddy, let's jump out and pack this tent away, mate. Let's go. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Um, that was me and Caden sleeping in the rooftop tent. See ya.